welcome to this YouTube collaboration between Filter Copy and NeatPrep.com. Joining me is the person who knows everything about Neat, Kapil Gupta, my good friend. Thank you very much, Kapil, for joining us here. Let me tell all you viewers that this is the first of the three collaboration videos that we are going to run in three days. And in this video, the first of the series, we are going to specifically talk about what is likely to happen to NEET 2021. Now, there is considerable uncertainty, of course, as far as the suspense over the board exams dates, the CBSC board exam dates, the JE mains and JE advanced, that has been taken care of. But Kapil, as far as NEET is concerned, there's a lot of sannata. Maybe sannata chaya hua hai. So uh, I uh, contacted the people at NTA and they told me about how NTA had written to the health ministry, asking the health ministry whether NEET 2021 can be conducted online, whether it can be conducted more than once. Now, what are you picking up from your sources? Uh, Sudhir, uh, uh, not much. Uh, uh, the phrase that you use, uh, I'm also hearing a lot of sanata. Uh, what I do know is that typically uh, JE advanced has happened after NEET exam, right? So uh, if the date has been set for 3rd July for JE advanced, my sense is last week of June, latest first week of July, NEET should happen. You're also aware that uh, there are areas uh, in India uh, which start getting very, very heavy rain and there are flood-like situations and that will create logistics, uh, logistical students for an exam which is conducted uh, at a central level, if you will, the paper remains the same. There aren't multiple papers that are created. So my assumption is uh, somewhere around last week of June, first week of July, but I do not have any basis beyond just uh, some kind of uh, logical conclusion. That may be a bit of a problem, Kapil, because uh, I would assume that since the board exams are starting for CBSE on the 4th of May, they Correct. possibly can't look at 2nd of May as a viable option anymore. Correct. Correct. 4th of May to 10th June, because the board exams are on, that becomes a complete red zone. You can't go there. Correct. And then in the second half of June is when West Bengal is holding its class 12 board examination. So that will be a problem. But yes, I buy your point because post the 31st of May, you would have the rainfall, the monsoon hitting the Kerala coast, and then Kerala, Karnataka, Goa, those right. areas would be a problem as far as June, July, definitely much, in fact, all of South India. So that would definitely be a problem. So what do you, what are you telling students? And what would you tell students listening to this broadcast that they should look to finish off all their study and revision by the end of April, and then whatever time they get extra, it's almost like a bonus. I, uh, I am saying not end of April, but end of May. Uh, uh, and uh, there are two sets of students, if you will. NEET has a very large population of students who have given their board exam are going to write again. And that population is much higher than JE. So for those right. students uh, where board exam is not a challenge because they have already given board exam uh, uh, last year, they should try and finish the syllabus by uh, end of May. They should not hurry up and try and finish it by February or March end. Take it easy, uh, study properly, uh, don't rush through it and try and absorb things. Those who are uh, writing board exam, uh, what I've recommended to, the, uh, to them is focus on your 12th class first while uh, uh, finishing up uh, your 12th, do MCQs okay. from the perspective of need. And as you start finishing more and more things, then start looking at 11th standard, but try and uh, finish up uh, this burden of board and need with respect to uh, 12th chapter. 12th has 46 chapters out of 96 in need syllabus. So that is a fair amount of chunk that can be done. And then when they are done with that, then they should think about covering more and more in 11th, uh, from 11th perspective. Uh, Kapil, suppose I'm a student who hasn't done much of work or much of significant work so far. Uh, I still have about five and a half to six months. Is right. this five and a half, six month period good enough for me to do an Usain Bolt and perhaps get into NEET? get into any medical college? Is it I, don't th I don't think there is any Usain Bolt in uh, competitive exams like these. These are fairly uh, lengthy, strenuous exams. Uh, NEET, my calculations uh, uh, says around 2,300 to 2,500 hours of studies. If you have around 170 days, every day of 15 hours of studies in my mind is not feasible. Having said that, hmm. not every student is at zero level. If you have done a bit of studies, if you are a dropper, you have given your 12th exam, you don't need to do 2,500 hours of studies. 1,700 of, uh, hours of studies is, uh, is feasible in remaining amount of time in around 170 days. And if you have done a little bit well, you have given your board exam, you know the subject once, you can do it. 
but uh, if you have not done it at all for whatever reason you just refuse to study till now and suddenly you, uh, you are hoping that you are going to become a superman tomorrow i don't know how much uh, that is feasible so uh, i would not give false hope to students who have done absolutely zero till now and are expecting to uh, do wonders in remaining six months i don't think that is feasible and they should not put unnecessary pressure on uh, themselves so basically you would say that you need a more of a cheteshwar pujara kind of an approach uh, all these competitive exams are cheteshwar pujaras and rahul dravids and uh, sunil gavaskars of the world <laughs> okay now uh, my final question out here now uh, many of the present 2021 batch students have another peculiar problem because their schools are expecting that they would come and take the pre board examinations in the month of jan feb march april now and many of them are also insisting on offline physical examinations sure. how much of a risk factor that is and how much of a diversion would these pre board examinations be from their preparation for neat it is uh, uh, it is challenging uh, sudhir i don't know uh, how this is going to happen this is a logistical nightmare uh, the uh, kids are not at uh, risk but uh, when they go back home their parents their grandparents uh, come into the risk category uh, in a country like india you can't expect vaccine roll out to happen uh, at a significant level by the time uh, these pre boards are going to start so uh, tough time for administrators at local level as well as uh, the the coordinating authorities i i don't know I, i would not want to be in their shoes it's a tough tough place to be right in fact i i find it quite surprising that many of the schools are insisting on physical examinations and linking the board pre board examinations attendance to giving them the admit card for the board examinations i think that's a very dangerous uh, game to play with these students who have not seen the inside of a classroom at all this entire year correct correct that can be done away with i think uh, uh, this this requirement of admit card uh, tying it up to pre board i think it's it's an excessive uh, considering the situation uh, we are in right now yes right thank you very much kapil and uh, to all the viewers of neetprep.com as well as uh, filter copy do stay tuned because we are going to have video number 2 and video number 3 in which we are going to discuss many more important aspects of neet 2021 and what you students need to do in order to excel in it and be able to crack it so do stay tuned thank you very much for watching